What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. How is everyone doing? We have a couple of news stories, a lot of questions, so let's dive right in. Our first story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. As if you didn't know, it's going to have the Snapdragon 8th Gen first generation chip, or whatever they end up calling it. Like It's got the craziest name, the rumored to have the craziest name. Uh, and we're going to see some benchmarks for this new chip. Again, it will be called the Snapdragon Gen 1 for the S8 Plus. And here's the benchmarks. Benchmark's not a huge deal to me, but on Geekbench 5, 1223 for single core, 3195 for multi-core. These are kind of pedestrian. These aren't amazingly crazy benchmarks. And we're hearing weird stuff. We're hearing like, oh my God, it's gonna have amazing multi-core scores, or it's gonna have, <clears throat> compared to like last generation and other, but honestly, everything we've seen so far, for the most part, has been pretty pedestrian, pretty normal, pretty run of the mill, but still, don't live by benchmarks. This is gonna be just as fast and just as great as any other tablet uh, from last year, <laughs> or you know, even in the future, it'll probably be very similar as well. Like we've reached a kind of tipping point before these tablets probably need fans almost because they run, they're gonna start to run really, really hot with such high performing processors inside. But yeah, it's getting kind of crazy. Still good specs to do anything that you want on it. So I wouldn't be too worried. Next up, as you can see from the headline, Samsung might unveil a new wireless charger with the S22 series of phones. And there's nothing too special about this. Just throwing it out there that if you're waiting to get a charger on there, this one's gonna be called the EPP2400. It has a rounded square shape and the upcoming wireless charger appears to uh, be able to charge at fastest 15 watts. So nothing too crazy on the wireless charging port. Uh, but then you can also charge other devices such as watches and earbuds for as low as two watts. This next one is really what I'm excited about. There's a couple of things that I'm excited about for the future of technology. Folding phones, that's in, in sliding phones and all that kind of technology within smartphones. But then the other part of it is AR glasses and VR glasses. I think AR glasses are maybe a little bit more exciting because VR is so immersive and like you're locked into that world and you don't see anything else. Whereas AR is like you put a set of glasses on and you can see you know things in front of you and interact with them, but still be able to also see, again, what's going on around you and hear what's going on around you. So I think that might be a little bit more accessible and probably more accepted by society. And Oppo has come out and announced that they are going to be releasing their Oppo AR glasses, which will ultimately be called the Oppo Air Glass. And there's some things about these that we're gonna talk about. Um, that you potentially might be interested in, such as they're very lightweight at only 30 grams. They have a unique Spark micro projector, bespoke diffractive optical waveguide, cutting edge micro LED, scratch resistant sapphire crystal, ways of controlling you can use your head or use um, the things on the side, the, the, the little guide on the side, there's a thing you can control it with. You get two frames, you can get either black or silver, and it has seamless connection with Oppo watch and phones. Now, one thing to know about this is that it is going to launch in China of Q, Q, <laughs> quarter one, 2022. Um, so don't expect this to roll out in America and other places, it's gonna be limited quantity. This is really early stuff truly AR technology. You can use this in a multitude of different ways from uh, seeing the directions right in front of you while you're walking or biking or driving your car, but still be able to see the road or see what's in front of you if you're walking or biking. You also have the ability to use these as a monitor. So if you're doing a speech, no one else will see it, but you could look at the crowd and still, you know, be able to see the words that you're supposed to say in your speech. You can see your notifications. You can interact with stuff. It's it potentially watch videos. There's a lot of cool things built into this technology. It's going to really change and revolutionize the world around us in a whole new way. And hopefully won't be as distracted as always looking down at your phone. You will have glasses on. Uh, most people will anyway of some sort, at least in the near future. I would say in the next five years, I think most people will have this, especially the younger generation. And I think within 10 years, the, everybody will have something like this. So five or 10 years are looking at, probably everyone's gonna have something 
on their eyes and on their head that they can view content with. Thanks for watching guys. Your question of the day is what technology excites you the most? Is it uh, folding phones? Is it sliding phones? Is it AR? Is it VR? Is it something else I'm not mentioning? Let me know in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that beam. First question comes from Mustafa. Med, hi Greg, do you think the upcoming Oppo Fold or OnePlus Fold can take some customers away from Samsung Fold phones? I would say around the world, probably not. I think in Asia, potentially, such as you know China, which is a huge, huge market. But I, at least initial, initially, probably not. Sharjil Shazad said, do you think that Oppo Fold is going to have top tier cameras from current flagships or do you think it's gonna be following the similar formula as the Z Fold 3? and four so i think in terms of the ba uh, the uh, the cameras i from what i've heard i, I they're not I, I could be wrong they're not top tier cameras they are going to be a little lesser than what you expect on some of their other devices and other devices in the world so i think you're going to run into something similar shajil shazad said uh would you say from the s8 that would you say the s7 plus is a huge upgrade to the s8 ultra is it going to be a massive upgrade um i don't think it's going to be i think you know, both of them are huge tablets. Obviously the Tab S8 Ultra is going, I think you said Ultra, yeah, is going to be this massive 14.6 versus 12.4 on the Tab S7 Plus. When it comes down to it, which one are people going to buy, like which size wise? I think they're still buy the 12.4, which is going to be the same size as the S8 Plus. I, so I'd say no, I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference. One who choice says, what do you think about the next watch? Watch five and five classic. I heard Samsung will use the solar power for their next watch lineup. So do you think to charge your watch in this case, the sun is, the batch, watch is buried. Do you think it's going to be true? No, I don't think we're gonna see any solar charging for this foreseeable future. It's It takes a lot of sun power to power such a small device. So you'd have to have really big solar panels on the watch to really keep it charged and going. I would say it'd have to be, I mean, honestly, it'd probably have to be about that that big, which is pretty big, bigger than the watch. I don't think you're gonna get much out of it. Would, would I be super shocked if we saw it? Not really, but do I think we'll see it? No, I don't think we will either. Jerome Gold, great content. As for the S Pen, I don't care as long as it's the uh, S Note 22 like it should be for all the notes. And unless they figure out a way to put it in the Z Fold, it would be a novelty question. Do you know when the carriers are gonna release the One UI 4 Android 12 for the Samsung devices? Obviously it depends which phone you have. I can't remember what phone you have, um, but you would guess that with the Z Fold 3, you're probably gonna see it in the next, well, they're still in the beta actually. They just released another beta. So I would assume that one's probably not gonna hit until the end of this year or early next year. Uh, Again, it depends on the phone you have because I know the only one that I believe that's fully out is the S21 series. Maybe the S20 as well. And our last question comes from Carlos, Carlos Alvarenga says, so the olive green color for the S22 Ultra isn't real, it's just black, white, and red. Well, as of November 3rd from Ross Young, he said that the S20 Ultra is gonna come in black, dark red, green, and white. So I would still keep hope out for that dark, uh, for the green color. Uh, he's got a really good track record. No one's 100%, but again, he's got a really good track record with stuff. So I would kind of lean with what he's saying. Guys, thanks for the questions. That is all your questions for today. Uh, if you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question, and I'll see you down the road. Peace.